Hello everyone, welcome to the House of Horrors. Now today, because I can't put this on the turntable, I could, but I'd have to remove the background and stuff like that, and I'm not just going to do that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you just by holding it and pull the dolls out and everything. We're going to talk about the Living Dead dolls based on Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. So I will be right back. We're going to go ahead and inspect the box and then take everything out of its box. So stay tuned. Okay, we got everything out of his package, and this is literally the third time that I had to do this uh, particular part of the video, simply because these things like to fall over. I make a mess of things, and I end up cussing. It's like, because I'm having a bad day. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to get past this without the bags. We're not going to mess with the bags. I'm not going to put them on their hands. But I am going to show you the figures, okay? So we're going to start off by moving this one out of the way, and Mr. Pumpkin out of the way. And we're going to start off with the... This kid here. Hi. My name is Skull Kid. Ah! Shamrock on the back. When they're done with these guys, they they fry their brains. <laughs> With some kind of computerizing um, 80s type special effects. And let me tell you, when I seen them, I don't mean to criticize them, but they're not like they are today. So, yeah. But they have a certain nostalgia to it. He's like, yeah, you got to smile, baby. Now, this here, the suit in itself, okay, kind of reminds me of Johnny from um, the Karate Kid when he jumped over the fence and chased uh, um, Ralph Macchio's uh, character and kind of decided to beat him up a little bit. <laughs> That's what this one reminds me of. And now, you notice the shoes here that are going to be the same style. All three of them just have different colors on their tips, okay? It's got a nice little split in the mask, okay? That's a nice touch. Again with the shamrock, okay? The, the actual patterns. Mezco does a fantastic job on their details. It's ridiculous. Okay, moving on. Stay there, buddy. We are going for the witch. The witch has a cloak um, in a hood. And it does come off, as you can see. And it's got a little like a bendy wire in it. And you'll notice right here, it does have Velcro. So you kind of just put them together. And it will hold, but you got to get it past the ribbons here, which is the hardest part. Okay. Okay, here we go. The eyes. Turn it sideways here. It's a mouthful of rotten teeth. Again, the shamrock, and it has a nice little split in the back of the uh, mask. And there's the top of the head. She's little Miss Greeny. Okay, now this in the outfit is very cool looking. Again, you see that she's got the red tips on the shoes. That's what it looks like underneath. You want to keep this pulled down. And it's got the little tassels towards the bottom. The shoes have right all the way around them. Okay. Now we're going to put the hoodie back on. Oh, oh, stay there. Damn it. There. There. Okay. Now the hoodie in itself does have the shamrock. Okay. Let's see if we can get that right. Uh, you, you kind of see it right there. Right. Like I said, it's got a bendy wire on it. You just kind of bend it around her face like so. And you're good to go. Alright, and that's what she looks like. Okay, sliding her out of the way. 
Now keep in mind the articulation for these figures is the arms. They do move back and forth. And the hands will twist a little bit. Okay. Same thing with the other side. The legs, they got a certain twist to them too. They're just like a doll. That's all they are. I think it's like five points of articulation. Now the, the head. It pivots. Okay, so you can do anything with this. You play. You can be like, what you looking at? <laughs> the hat is usually located on the bottom of the figures. You just got to pull it out because it's taped down. And you want to just slip that back on his head like that. And he is good to go. Again, the suit in itself is just straight black jumper suit. Okay, I don't know if you can actually pull this apart or not, but I'm not going to find out. But anyway, that is the pumpkin kid. The shoes are black. As you get, well, no, they're blue. I'm sorry. The other one's black. All right. And that's pretty much it in a nutshell. So let me see if I can get these to stand up here without making them fall. Okay. Yeah, I had a feeling you were going to do that. These things are real tricky just to keep them to stand up. Alright, there we go. Alright, now stay there. Now let's get this guy to stand up. Okay. She looks good. Looks good so far. I'm going to readjust it so you can actually see it. Just got to get these guys up there. Alright. Now. Here we go. And there she is, okay? Alright, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. I'm going to show you the bags while those are sitting up there spinning. This is the one for the pumpkin kid. He gets a special bag and as you can see it's really flimsy so it's hard to keep in his hand. So, I don't mess with him so I'm just going to lay him next to the uh, figures. Uh, the, the, these here, these will fit in their hands no problem because it's thick. All right, it's a thick cardboard, but the other one is just flimsy. You can get it on there if you just leave them and not mess with them. You can get them all on there, but there's two of these, okay, along with this one here. So it's like a chow. Okay, I do got smaller figures sitting on my stand with my other uh, Season of the Witch and Michael Myers masks. So I do got those. They're from NECA. They're a smaller set, and I got the TV set with it. And that's pretty much it. And I got like like six, seven Michael Myers prop knives. As well as the two 2007 Michael Myers Rob Zombie versions. I got the 95 mask and the 15 year later mask. There's not a name for it. So I got that. I got the 78 uh, version of the mask. As well as the 2018 mask. That I want to get the actual Dick Warlock uh, Halloween 2 mask. But I want to get a good one. Because that's got a very unique look about it. But outside of that mask wise. That's pretty much it. I don't collect all the masks. Because I'm not a big fan of how they look. Only certain ones. But anyway the Season of the Witch is my. You know my favorite of the franchise. The original franchise. The 2007 uh, Rob Zombie version. Is in fact my all time favorite. Uh, Michael Myers movie. I know a lot of people don't like hearing that shit. Because oh that's not Michael Myers. Blah blah blah. It's like whatever. He's too vicious. Actually, he's supposed to be vicious because he's a serial killer, okay? <laughs> but anyway, he had that viciousness about him as well as being gigantic. He's over seven, well, he's close to seven feet tall. He was quite menacing, okay? And the jumper suit that he wore was brown instead of blue, so it did throw things off a little bit. But the actual origin story of that movie did set, uh, set it in, you know, in perspective. 
And I like that part about the actual movie. So I did like the Rob Zombie movies. The second one, not so much. He was more violent in that one, but he was okay. Okay. The uh, the new trilogy, they were okay. The first one was good. Okay. Uh, second one was okay, and the third one was a little different. Okay. It made him seem like he was very feeble, and the moment he started killing, it was like crack to him. He started getting stronger and stronger. He needed to do more, but unfortunately, he wasn't strong enough. Because um, Jamie Cur uh, Lee Curtis's uh, character eventually got the better of him, as far as we know. She killed him because he bled out on a damn table. And they threw him in a grinder and just grinded his ass down, if that was him. So they are, in fact, going to reboot the actual franchise. Uh, Miramax is probably going to end up doing a TV show because they end up getting the copyrights for the TV show. So they're probably going to do a TV series. So we're looking forward to that. I do like the franchise because the actual storylines in themselves are better than the actual Friday the 13th in my opinion. Even though Friday the 13th can be a little campy, Jason is a badass in all these movies. He's ruthless and he fucking kills without no, uh, how can I say, uh, without hesitation. He'll destroy you, okay? And the way that he kills people is much more violent than my, Michael Myers in that aspect. And that's another reason why I like uh, Jason. Plus the... Um, the fact that he wears those cool masks. I got a huge collection in my room just based on Jason's mask. Okay, they're very cool. Anyway, long story short, I'm going to go ahead and end this here because this is going to be my last video for right now until something else comes into the mail. And then we will do another video. Now, in Big Bad Toy Store, I do have some um, killer clowns coming in. And they're based on the actual figures, all three figures, Slim. Fatso and Shorty, so we're definitely going to get some Trick or Treat uh, Studios version of those characters. Be, they should be coming in pretty soon. I got the two um, uh, Living Dead dolls, the Dancing Wednesday, as well as Ghostface, I think are the only two that I got on there. And I got a few other things, and I'm waiting for my uh, Return of the Living Dead trash zombie figure from, I think, Super 7. That hasn't come in yet. I did get the actual um, Suicide, so I, I got two of those. So, but anyway, long story short, stay tuned for uh, more videos when they actually come out. Uh, once those packages come in, I'll do some more videos. But in the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe. And this is the House of Horrors. And we will see you at the next video.